Hey guys, this is John from Infinite RC, and today I'll be unboxing the Track Power TK950 soldering station. So, we had an old soldering gun, and it was just really not working. And uh, I'm soldering some Dean connectors onto some Gen Zace and Sky Lipo batteries, and our gun just was not really hooking up. So, I quickly ran to the hobby shop and got this. Here it looks like it's just your manual and some decals and stickers that you put around the soldering station. Then you have the um, iron itself and it comes with a chisel tip. You can see that. And then it also comes with a pencil tip. So I'll only be using this one unless I'm working on some circuit boards or something that really needs a uh, very small tip to solder. So there you go, and um, the cord feels very, very flexible, very lightweight, but not too lightweight. I know that this is going to be very good quality. It's got this nice uh, rubber grip on it, and here you have a hex wrench. Not sure what that's for. And then there's the station itself. So let's get the box out of the way. Okay, so this station cost us $80, but I believe you can get it for $65 or $70 online. And it is a 60 watt power station soldering iron and it's capable of temperatures up to 90 degrees. Here is the small sponge and you just need to add a little bit of water and this is what will hold the iron. Uh, almost seems like the iron could fall out. I don't think that it will and then it's got a very small tray in there. Um, that's not just the white background, that's actually the tray. And um, I guess it will just collect any solder that drips off while your iron's hot. So that just goes in there. That's a very, very heavy piece of cast iron. Let's just see the bottom. Yep, so you can just unscrew that with uh, the, a Phillips head screwdriver. Then it looks like the plate will just come out and you can clean off any of the solder that's stripped. Then here's this, and it looks like your starting temperature is going to be anywhere from zero, which would be off, and then that's right about 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, and then 900 max. Um, I guess that that's going to be where you use this hex key. Then that's how you will connect the iron to the actual station, and then like I said, the decals that it came with should probably just go around here. Uh, it The time that it takes to heat up should probably be anywhere between one to three minutes, depending on the temperature that you want it to get to. But the soldering station looks very, very good. It looks very promising and uh, high quality. Uh, this casing is plastic on here, but it's got some good weight to it. And then like I said, this cast iron piece is very high quality and um, it just seems like it would be a very good tool for the job that I need it for. And uh, anybody that's looking to get a new soldering station, you should probably look into getting this one. So thanks for watching and uh, if you like my style of videos, then please subscribe.